Hi everybody, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, today is Tuesday, March 17th, 2009. And our origami model of the day is called a shell decoration. And I tried this once already and kind of failed. <laughs> So I'm trying it again with you all and we'll see if we can um, make it work. Uh, you are going to need in addition to your origami paper some kind of adhesive, either some glue or some like double face sticky tape, something like that. I don't like models like this that require those kinds of extras because it seems like you should just be able to do these things without that. But nevertheless, I'm going to give this one more whirl along with you and see if I can make it work. If not, we're going to call this one a bust because, I don't know, it's a little... It's not, it's not complicated in that there's not a lot of steps to it. It's just getting it to actually fit and work out right um, is a bit of a challenge. So you'll see what I mean as we get rolling. Uh, go ahead, get your paper together and uh, find yourself some uh, something sticky <laughs> and uh, we'll uh, get started. All right, so the first uh, folds that we're going to do to uh, make this shell decoration. Uh, you're going to hold your paper with the colored side facing up. Today we have a nice color green in honor of St. Patrick's Day. And the first two folds you're going to do are to fold um, the paper in half on the diagonal in both directions. Like that. And then once you've completed that, you're going to fold each corner to the very center section where it, where it intersects. Like so. And then um, open it back up to prepare for the rest of the model. All right, so here's the deal. The rest of this is very, um, as I said, there's not a lot of steps to it. It's just the, um, the fact that I think you have to be very precise in these folds in order for this to work out. And I haven't even completed it myself yet, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it works out. Uh, what you're doing, and I've, I've completed one side here, and I'm going to demonstrate what I've done or start the demonstration on this piece here. You know, all four of these flaps were just like this. Um, what you're going to do is take the first flap, flap, fold it down, and then fold back, leaving just a little bit of a band here, like so. And once you do that, and, and this is the part that is a little confusing because there's no indication really on how wide this should be, but it's pretty small, as you can see, uh, because what you're going to do is then subsequently accordion pleat your way, and again, you have to do this fairly uh, precisely, and I'm going to finish this on with the paper down, um, because you can see how, how tight it is over here. Uh, back and forth, back and forth, accordion pleat, when you're done, it's going to have this sawtooth effect because you have you have folded in it accordion style all the way back and forth and back and forth, and um, like so. And you want to make sure that it's the same exact uh, way on all four sides. So once you've done one side when you go to do this next corner, make sure that these corners are, are the, the amount of the fold is exactly the same on, on this and each side as it is on the first side. And I think that that's key to this. And then making sure that as you go along and you do these folds, they are square and that you don't go um, off kilter. And so you end where the very last little flap that you fold is right centered with those center lines. So go ahead, uh, take some time and get that done, and then we'll, um, we'll continue and finish this. All right, so I have finished mine. It's a little time consuming, not, you know, not really a difficult thing. It just does take time to try to do it as accurately as 
uh, precisely as possible. So I've got all four one of these of these corners folded accordion style to create this. Uh, it's almost sawtooth, but it's it's about it's really about the accordion pleats that we're doing this. And now what you're going to do is. <laughs> Let me just talk to you the whole time like this. La la la. Now what we're going to do is flip it over and you're going to put your sticky stuff, whether it be glue or in my case I just put some uh, double face tape in the center there in preparation for the next step. Here's where things went bad for me the first time I tried this. So far so good, but this is where things seem to get troublesome. Uh, now that you've gotten your piece and you've done all your accordion pleats and you flipped it over and you put your sticky stuff on the back, the object now is to fold each corner to that center section. As you can see, I did the first one here. And then you're going to continue and pull each one of the corners here. And when you do that, you should be creating kind of a shell effect with these accordion pleats as they meet up. So let's continue to do each one and see how it works. We've got here a first step. Okay, so now I've pushed down the second one. What, I'm, what I've found this time makes it a little easier is when you bring your um, point down, stick just the very point down first. This will be kind of uh, very rounded and then start to flatten that out. That seems to to work a little bit better. So that's number two. Let's see if we can get number three to fit. What happened the last time, the first time I did this, is they just didn't line up, so it didn't work for me. But it looks, it's looking better now, that is, isn't it, this time? Okay, so point number three I have, I'm stuffed down. And, and see what I mean right now? It's, it's um, kind of bubbled here. All I did was bring it over and line up the very point and push that down on the taped part, on the sticky part. Um, and whereas I've, I've flattened out the first two that I did, this one is still um, kind of poofy. So now that I have it stuck, I'm sort of flattening it out at this point. and that seems to be working so all right let's bring up let's bring up this last little point here and you're bringing the point again you're folding it obviously you're folding it this way and sticking that last point there so let's try that all right so uh, the fourth one seems to have worked here I guess the luck of the Irish we got this one to work today um, and it was kind of a miserable failure the first time I tried it so I'm glad that it worked out but the trick, I think, is really being precise about all those accordion folds. If you're a little bit off, when you get to this step, it just doesn't line up and, and it doesn't work. It just didn't work. Um, so there you have it, a shell decoration. So that's our model for the St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, tomorrow we will be working on a mushroom and it looks to be pretty simple, so I think that one will be short and sweet. Um, so enjoy the rest of your day, uh, have some corned beef and cabbage and something green <laughs> to eat, and uh, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Erin, go broth. <laughs>